explain. I am a fourth grade student, and our class do, does a Socratic seminar. First, we pull out an article or a text, and it is about gender norms. Then when we are done reading the article, we sit around in a circle with our chairs, and we ask questions about the article and help one another with the questions. We respect each other. That is, that is one of our expectations. And when we're done, we write reflections about what the Socratic Seminar was about and what some questions about it. In our classes, we read two texts and then, then we compare them. We wrote by ourselves our guided questions. The guided questions for our so Socratic Seminar. These are my questions. Number one, why do people sometimes tease you when do you think you're trying to help them to break gender norms? Number two, why do people think gender norms are good? Number three, how come, how come people don't keep on breaking gender norms? You're not like, you're not like being nice. You're not like, you know, it's not your turn. It's like not your turn. You have to raise your hand like this, like very quietly, and like someone will like pick on you if it, if it's like your turn. Anybody else? <laughs> One rule is that the circle should stay in a circle so you don't like get like some people going like this and moving out of the circle so we're all in the circle. Anyone else? Delete. 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 No bad comments about comments. When people say no bad comments about that. Uh, Anyone else? <laughs> Sophia? Sophia? That they're not doing with they're not supposed to do well someone else. Okay, an expectation for our Socratic seminar should be that you shouldn't be making noises. And if you say something like, if you say a connection, you shouldn't say names. It's me. And no pointing. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, um. Also, another um, expectation for a Socratic seminar is that we shouldn't be like pointing out gender norms. Like, oh, gender norms. There's boys right here. Oh, wait. Right there. <laughs> we shouldn't be pointing that out during the Socratic seminar. Next question. You want to I also got a comment too. Uh, you know how. Uh, Mostly people it, read their thing like how like usually like what they're gonna think about when they say the next question about it or answer and they be like usually sometimes they do that so no. mumbling. No. How do you think you can break gender norms? I think you can break away from gender norms is by by like stopping the way that like girls always go with girls and boys always go with boys. Maybe you could like um do like hmm I think like boy um like boy girl boy girl or if you it's like boy girl girl or like girl boy boy because you want to be with your friends like mostly. Mm. Why do you think people judge people the way the way they are? Jacob, uh, I think it is uh, because that they don't know what gender norms is, or because like they don't want to break away gender norms because they like the way that it is. Nailed <laughs> Why do people call other people names? What is it E? They might think it's funny. Do you know? This is probably gonna make them feel bad. <coughs> Cynthia? Sometimes they've been bullied and then they try to stand up so, and try to act cool and all this stuff so they won't get bullied again. Else? Gwen? 
Are gender norms and love the same? Nayeli? Um, they're not the same because love is a kind of to be respectful and you have trust <coughs> and gender norms are just like like separating boys and girls. Any, any question? Uh, oh, Darlene said you never win. Well, I have a, my own question from the text I read, Breaking Away from Gender Norms. Um, is there more than one way to breaking away from gender norms? Any comments, answers, or questions? Oh, wait, no, anybody has an answer for that. Can't girls play soccer and boys can do gymnastics? Like, can they both, like, like what girls like to do, girls like, some girls like to do gymnastics and some, like, a lot of boys like to play soccer. Can't girls play soccer and can't boys do gymnastics? Just then. Um, girls, boys can also do gymnastics because some boys in real life, they do gymnastics, cheerleading, and some girls in real life also do um, play soccer, play basketball, and many boys and girls can play, um, girls can play some boy stuff, and boys can play some girl stuff. Okay. Any comments or questions? Mm, Jada. Um, I have a question. Why do most girls say that boys can't wear pink? I wear pink. <laughs> Okay, I would choose. Um, Elsa R. Um, I think people say that boys can wear pink because they think that boys can only wear blue, black, gray, and other boy uh, colors. Red. Because um. Oh, okay. Why does the media have to separate boys and girls? What? Huh? Okay, Ooh. so, like, why do they have to talk, like, when they talk about girls, they talk all about girls, and when they talk about boys, they talk about all about boys. So why do they have to, so why does the media have to separate boys and girls? Uh, Donnie? I think they're just, like, talking about, like, cheerleading, and the boys could go to cheerleading. Because maybe boys only talk about like sports and girls talk about like sport, like sleepovers, like chilling and like stuff. Horses. Uh, comments and uh, answers? Uh, thank you. I have a question about why do they talk about cheerleading and sports only? Oh. I don't oh. get it. Why? Uh, Jacob. Uh, I think because they like to do sports and like <coughs> not, they do nothing but sports every day. Oh. Um, Cynthia? Why do they like to do sports? <laughs> <laughs> because they've grown up with it, like what? Maybe they have grown up with it when they're like small, and they do it now. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Oh, Angel. Um. What? So, what can we do to change the media? <laughs> Um, Angel? Um, we can probably, instead of letting girls just, making girls just play um, gymnastics, um, do sleepovers, we can probably um, let them play like soccer, football, or like, like play with boys, like while they're at least play with boys. 
So they should show that to the media? Questions? Ben. Why can't they like, if they have soccer, they have boys soccer and girls soccer. Like why can't they just mix them together? <laughs> Nayeli? Cause some, cause some boys think that some girls are not allowed to play and like sometimes they think like they can't play well as boys. So why do you think that? Oliver was a good person to break away from gender norms. So how could how could we break away from gender norms? Um, Nelly, we could break by gender norms is by um mixing up boys and girls for it. It will be like all, all boys in soccer and all girls in cheerleading. And then we can put some boys in cheerleading and some girls in soccer. Anyone else? So like that's what you mean? Like some boys in cheerleading and some girls in soccer? So yeah. it's like mixing it all up? So I don't say like um, uh, girls only do cheerleading or boys only do soccer. So like we can mix it all up? Because if you do something like kind of not natural to do, um, they will like probably tease you. They will sometimes tease you, like in Oliver Bucky. Any questions or comments? I got you. They're also not the same because love is respectful and trust and gender norms like are sometimes rude and then people, sometimes people don't like gender norms any comments or questions when um i think that um gender the gender norms and love are kind of the same but not really like not yes and no because in Oliver Button when I was reading the story at first they put Oliver Button as a sissy and then after the show they saw how good he was and they put Oliver Button as a star. Any questions or comments? Mm, Cynthia? I will get like since Oliver like why didn't he like to do boy stuff because most boys kind of like to do like boy stuff. But won't he embarrass himself? Because sometimes boys embarrass each other when they do like girl your something. That's girl your stuff like that. Well, won't they embarrass himself? Well, probably because he was trying to break away from gender norms. So he was like, he didn't care what they said about him. He didn't like gender norms.